Hi, this is Johnny Lewis Brown. Welcome back to the channel. If you're a performing artist and you're at the beginning of your career, or if you're a 10 year vet, you're gonna wanna watch through this whole video. I'm gonna get right to the point. Your agent or manager submits you for a huge role for a film or television series. The casting director actually accepts the submission. You show up and you nail the first audition. It's you and like 500 other people. A couple weeks later, you get a call back. They give you a script that's even harder than the first time you show up and nail that audition. And this time you notice it's probably 20 or 25 people. You get another call. The casting director is calling your agent and manager. They want to see you for a third call back. And this time you're going to read with cast members that are already signed to the project. You'll probably even meet the director, the script writer, etc. You nail the two or three scenes that they put you through then. They say you are a wonderful performer and they have a contract that they're drafting up right now. Just give them a couple days. They're going to send it to you. Now you're on hold. The casting director calls your agent or manager back and this time what they're doing is apologizing to your agent or manager because the producers have decided to ultimately go in a different direction. Sound familiar? I'm going to tell you what's going on and what you can do about it next. Okay, so you, you have your speech and vocal techniques down. Your sense memory technique is instant and flawless. The camera technique rivals Tom Cruise. The stage technique is second to none. You can memorize three to four pages in 30 minutes. And your body is so fit, you can do your own stunts and precision driving. Plus, you have the ability to empty yourself and become someone else. At that point, you're one of the best performers in the world. Casting directors are actually looking for that. You need to actually master all of that in order to get noticed by them. But producers, they don't even care about that for the most part. The question is, is why? So the top five to six actors agencies basically have most of all the screenplays. And when they greenlight something, they usually hire a director and a screenwriter from the same agency. Not only that, but the top four to five lead roles in that project are usually cast from where? You guessed it the same agency. What that typically does is leave all the supporting roles left to be cast locally from where that project is going to be shot. And sometimes they'll have a separate casting session in New York or LA for supporting roles as well. Now, they accepted your submission for one of the lead roles in that project because you're one of the best actors in the world and they wanted to see for themselves. The question is, is why did they do that? Producers and casters, they like to cover themselves and they also like to see the fresh talent that's out there. The truth is the actor that they hired in-house for this role, if that actor pulls out, doesn't want to do it anymore, gets injured, etc., has a scheduling conflict, they want to have a backup actor ready to go. And that's where you come into play. That's why they actually string you along to the end and then give you that, sorry, they went in a different direction type of thing. What do you do when you go through this constantly over and over again? One of the things that you should do is when you get these big casting sessions like this for these big roles, don't care about getting the role. Just treat it like a showcase. Go in and just show off your abilities to everybody. You get in front of these casting directors. They get a chance to know you. They get a chance to know your abilities and they grow confidence in you each time you show. One of the other things that you can do, focus your attention more on independent films or independent projects and possibly shoot your own project like Vin Diesel did or Sly Stallone did prior to their careers taking off. One of the things that you can do is what my manager did when I would go through those type of tough screenings and three, four, five callbacks, auditions and roles being offered to me and then pulled at the last minute. My manager would actually talk the casting director and to put me in the film anyway in a lesser role or having the screenwriters of that project add a role for me and I would still work on the project anyway. So that's something that you can talk to your manager. That's something you can talk to your agent about of doing stuff like that. And if they like your abilities that much, they're not going to have a problem doing that. I just wanted to put that knowledge out there. I wanted to share this with you guys. If you like the video, please like and subscribe. I'll be talking to you more and cover more. Stay tuned. I'm going to be doing some workout videos as I prepare for my next film role. Take care. Ghosts. J L B.